Okay, my friends, today we're looking at these earbuds, the A10s. And these ones are by a company called Nipods. Now, Nipods are, uh, or originally were under the brand Enacfire for those that may have been familiar with that brand before, uh, but they've, they've kind of got some subsidiary brands and uh, Nipods is one of them. Now, these, depending on how they sound, could be really nice if, if uh, you're on a budget for one, $29 Canadian, $29.99 Canadian, which is awesome, 94 ratings, which is good, uh, at four and a half stars. So maybe you're looking for a pair of earbuds for the kids, you're wanting something maybe for when you travel because you don't want to bring your, your really good earbuds with you, or maybe you just don't like spending a lot of money on earbuds and these will do everything that you need them to. So we're gonna take a look at some of the specs that it talks about on their Amazon listing. We're gonna of course crack open the box, see what they come with, and uh, we're gonna pair it with the phone and give them a listen, yeah. Okay, wireless earbuds, Bluetooth 5.2, so using current Bluetooth, which is excellent, uh, up to 35 hours of playtime, uh, hi-fi stereo audio, uh, IPX8 waterproof, so that's good, active noise canceling wireless headphones, really active noise canceling, for a $29 Canadian, hmm, all right, what does it say here? Yeah, latest Bluetooth, I'm with you, active noise canceling. Now, this has a 30 dB, it says uh, noise cutting, noise canceling, right? 30 dBs. So that's that's a decent. Uh, we have seen, of course, a lot of uh, other higher end earbuds with noise canceling, active noise canceling, coming in around 35 to 38. And of course, the higher the number, the more noise canceling that you're gonna get. So more, more noise being cut out, but, Again, 29 bucks, right? The fact that you're getting any active noise canceling, uh, 30 dB is okay. Uh, it does have a transparency mode, so that's good. And uh, USB-C wireless charging, and uh, oh, does it actually have wireless charging pad? Oh, the, so it's, it looks like it has wireless charging. All right, that's, I'm down. You can use either earbuds, and they're comfy. So it seems it seems, based on the specs, that these could have a lot going for them, right? A lot going for them if they actually sound okay. Now, Enacfire, one of the, like I said, I think the big parent company, um, probably one of the first earbuds that we actually ever reviewed here on this channel, and I always was fond of them. Uh, Flawless, see that? Flawless premium audio, Bluetooth 5.2. Smart touch control, and you guys, I'll put that up there if you guys want to read any of that because a little, a little small maybe for me, but you guys can pause that screen if you need to and give that a little look over. Okay, simple box. Uh, you got a little Q&A pamphlet, yep. You got a little instruction manual, that's decent, I like that. Uh, how to pair. Uh, Approach two without the charging case. Yep, um, incoming calls, ANC transparency. That's really the one I want to see. Okay, so tap left earphone once to switch between active noise canceling and transparency modes. Active, active noise canceling mode prompt sound. Noise canceling on. Transparency mode prompt sound. Ambient on. It sounds like there's just one or the other, really. Tap the left earbud. Simple. Okay, now these, you guys can see them here, right? These are gonna be earbuds that, they, they come out of the case, which is good because they do that so that they don't discharge, right? So I do appreciate that. And again, $29. You get, do you get a $29 USB-C cable? Do you give me something decent length? Uh, no, not really. It's more and more, I, I'm not a fan of this. I'm, all of you earbud headphone companies that give me earbuds that come with USB-C cables that are like three inches long. No, I, no. I want at least this. This is this is the bare minimum length. This is it right here. That's bare minimum length. Not not this. Whatever whatever this is. Okay. That's it's too short. It's too short. I get that you're trying to cut pennies somewhere, but I'll pay an extra three, four, five dollars to get a cable that's somewhat usable. Uh, some extra extra tips for resizing. Again, important if you're not getting a good seal, you get some tips and that's all. All right, that's your case. 
tip one, tip two. Now my guess is these have to go back in here just to start to initialize. And you do get your little little branding, right? Nye pots, nye pots. And these just go in like so, I guess. All right. Seems, seems simple enough. You get some little charging lights on the front right there. Awesome. Very nice. We'll just put them right there. We'll see if anything showed up on my phone. And Bluetooth right to the bottom. Um, uh, I'm guessing maybe these BT LED. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll pop them in just to see. It says pairing. They seem to dis just disappear. Now they are a little bigger than some of the more expensive, but at least for me, they fit decently. Did they, did, did I get it? Well, I got it connected already. All right. And I'm connected to two pairs of headphones. So I don't know how that's working. No, that's connecting at to my LED lights. So that's not right. Let's, let's do this. Let's disconnect my Bluetooth. A10s, there they are, that's better. Because they were already connected to some headphones, that's why. Pairing successful, better. So, they do come up as A10s. I gotta I got delete some of this, I got way too much Bluetooth stuff, you guys saw that. Anyways, let's, let's, do, let's do some sound, shall we? Let's get some music going on here. We got a good old Slipknot song here, all right. Let's go up to 50%. You guys can listen to Sound Leak. Okay, I'll, 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 right off the bat, I'm like, yeah, no complaints. They're definitely really focused on that uh, mid and low end for sure. But I'm only at 50% and the volume is excellent. And if you crank them up, yeah, for me right there, you guys can see that, right? I'm at 75, 80%. I, I wouldn't want them any louder than that. Like, th these are loud. Like, they got a ton of boom to them. Now, they're not... It's not that the highs aren't there, but they're not as focused on their highs. They really do focus more on that mid and low. So, if you'd like a really low-end sound, I think you'll like these. I'm not even going to push these up to 100. Oh, I'll do it, Will. All right, they don't distort. Too loud for me. Too loud for me. Actually, I'd probably have them down around 60%. So I'm going to pause that. So it said tap my left one, right? Tap. Ambient on. Oh yeah, there it goes. Yeah, that's ambient for sure. Yep. I can hear, I can hear, actually I can hear everything actually really well. Surprisingly, that's, that's quite good. And then you tap. Noise cancelling on. Yeah, and it definitely pulls some. So the question is, is there... Oh, so, the, and there is a noise cancelling off. So, again, some of them have a noise cancelling on and then a transparency mode, and they just go between the two. So this does have a noise cancelling on, a noise cancelling off, and a transparency mode. And that transparency mode, I just put it back in there. Quite good. All right. Yeah. Definitely a, definitely a, a difference. All right. Let's, uh, let's go back in here. So in the rock music, uh, excellent, for sure. Now let's go play my... Uh, telephone from uh, Lady Gaga just to get a good sound Yeah, it's I don't think anybody who hasn't heard earbuds that are like really really crispy in the highs would, would even notice it uh, Like for me, I'm like, yeah, it doesn't have that crisp in that high ends. Is that a big deal? Not not for most of us um, but loud oh my gosh loud uh, and it keeps that sound quality through the whole thing and, but the mids, if you're someone who likes mids and lows, like this song has a good like bass in it, excellent. Oh yeah, like that's excellent. And I'll put up to 100 here. And I don't know what you guys can hear for sound leak, but man, that sounds nice. You know, the last few pairs of earbuds we've reviewed here, 2022, the year of the earbuds, I'm telling you. Especially $29, what? Oh yeah, no, that's... That's fantastic. That's actually really good. Okay, uh, surprise, I, I am. Um, let's bring up our Filmic Pro here so we can do a, a mic test so we can hear what these sound like. And I'm going to just spin this around. You guys can see me there, I think. 
and record. Here we go. So now what you're hearing is coming straight from these, um, the mics and these earbuds. So this should give you an idea of what kind of audio you'd get if you're using to record like I'm doing, or if you were using this for phone calls or anything that utilizes the microphone on these. So I don't need to record too long. You guys can get an idea of what it sounds like. And uh, we'll stop this and cut back to the normal, normal microphone. So in my own head, those sounded, those sounded actually really good. <laughs> uh, I don't think uh, you should be able to get these for $29, to be completely honest with you. Uh, it's, a simple, it's a simple packaging, right? They didn't go crazy with the packaging by any means. Uh, like even the charging case is small, 35 hours, more than enough uh, for most of us. Uh, if you're gonna go away for you know, a weekend or a week or anything like that, you may need to charge them, but that shouldn't be too bad. Um, do they, do they, uh, here's my A10s. So if we pop these back in here, do they disconnect automatically? Let's just see. Close the lid. Do we get a disconnect? Yeah, so they disconnect. Uh, you know what? Uh, these are, these would be, honestly, these would be a fantastic, a fantastic, especially if you're looking for a second pair, on, uh, they, they'd probably be a great first pair for someone who doesn't have any earbuds. Like they sound way better than what you should ever expect from a pair of earbuds for $30, without question. Like you shouldn't, uh, there's no way I expected to get this kind of sound quality from uh, a pair of earbuds for $29.99, Canadian, Canadian. Um, yeah, uh, 94 reviews, ratings, four and a half stars. Uh, yeah, they're, fan they're, they're good, you know what? The, no the, the noise canceling is okay. Again, 30 dBs, there are ones out there that uh, claim and probably do a bit more, but you're definitely not spending that little amount of money, no. All right, guys, uh, these are the Nipots, Nipots A10. Yeah, 30 bucks Canadian, nuts. If you're interested, I'll put links down below to some of the Amazons that you can get these on. And uh, that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and uh, we'll see you fine folks tomorrow. Later, my friends.